Ubuntu 11.04 is the new release from the uh, Canical company for everybody and it's free so um, the first things first we will be looking with the unity environment um, it's the new default sets environment for Ubuntu but don't worry you can always go back to the original one which was included with Ubuntu 10.10 .10 and below with all those versions all around and something so uh, first things first we will be looking at the dash and the launcher we'll be starting off with the launcher now you'll notice I kind of customized it a little bit so it may be a little bit different when you first install unity it comes default with Firefox but I took that out I mean I didn't take it out but I put Google Chrome as my default they have a bunch of software center LibreOffice which is the newest um, newest office type of thing for your word documents and Excel and now they have in the launcher we'll be starting off with the workspace switcher this is what they called new within Ubuntu but it, ha it has been included it's similar to Macs and you can always organize your windows with it they made it more obvious and user friendly and you'll notice the applications and files and folders buttons here now three of these have their own shortcuts now this cool feature within the launcher is when when you hold in the start menu it brings up numbers and letters but on, only up to 1 to 0 and the letters for these I'm not so sure in the future when these will be customizable but let's go look at this now the shortcut for workspaces instead of clicking on it all the time you can always press start menu s which was that popped up and if you hold in the start menu again you press start menu a for applications and f for files and folders and you notice the trash icon which is down here and start menu t to open up the trash and yeah that's pretty much it now what's pretty cool within this is that when you have lots of applications making them lots of windows open for this specific application so let's say I'm going to be opening up a lot of documents and music and my desktop becomes all cluttered how am I supposed to organize it well if you notice the program and you'll see three indications of how many windows are there because there's three and obviously it shows three so when we click on that it brings this interface I forgot what's this called but I used it a lot in Ubuntu but I forgot the the feature and the name of it but um, when you click on the icon within the launcher everything will pop up for that program the windows and you just click on it it's pretty cool right they can do this on the mighty mouse within the max but um, you know it's pretty good to have it on your computer too with a free operating system now the launcher has all these features and if you have a lot of windows open let's say I open up audacity and next you know the launcher becomes so stacked because it has so many icons well of course you can just drag it down and then it'll give a transition which is doing it right now and yeah that's basically it that's all the features on the launcher you can customize it if you install compass with Ubuntu software center now um, they use the hotkeys which is pretty cool you can use the start menu and it can open up the dash before you always have to click on it now they included it within unity and all those features that are similar to Windows using the start menu and the numbers on the keyboard so the dash you can just search basically just like the Mac zone well not the Mac but Windows 7 start menu and search for whatever you want that's pretty much everything on the dash so now that we got that done you're wondering about the new software that's included as I said they have LibreOffice and it starts up quickly and this is what comes pre-installed with Ubuntu it's similar to OpenOffice which was in the previous versions of uh, Ubuntu I have no idea why they switched to something that's similar to OpenOffice and has the same name if you don't mind explain it below in the comments and please don't hate on me and they have Banshee which is for your music before it used to be Rivenbox as you all should know Banshee is more superior compared to Rivenbox so I heard um, it has more of an eye candy let's say you hover it gives a transition blah 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 and of course it was included I think in 9.10 when you click on the sound icon within the indicators up here and it gives the interface when you play a song and it can show the it can show the album picture of it and yeah that's a pretty cool future feature now if we look up here and you click on the turn off button here it's more of an extension but it add, they added in one thing which is system settings um, before you know they had the preferences and administration at the top left well now they uh, uh, cohesively uh, combine it in here you know they concurred and you can always edit it I have Compiz installed 
and you can always customize Unity and you can do a bunch of settings that were in the old Ubuntu now if you notice just to point out something to all of you the scroll bar it's pretty weird right it's just a red icon and when you scroll down it follows you well if you move your mouse there and you drag this it uh, does it that's pretty that's a pretty cool add-on they put in that's similar to uh, the tablets and iPhones and Androids it's pretty cool right so yeah um, if you can get comp is within the Ubuntu Software Center you can do that yeah it's pretty cool uh, last thing I think this is the last part I will be showing it's Ubuntu Software Center they improved it slightly um, you can rate software you can look at reviews which is quite a good feature now if we maximize it'll take up everything and you have to move your mouse at the top left to uh, what's it called indicate the launcher yeah it's quite buggy it kinda gets annoying that's why I get comp his and I go into the unity and I customize it a little bit I take out dodge windows I like it when this thing's on top of everything so it can be an easier interface go to the experimental tab you know how everything is all bright but on Windows 7 when you click on it it'll indicate the color of the program when it's open well I like that feature because this is quite confusing well, well they have the indicator but I like it while it's backlight toggles so now I know which application is open now this is great because it's fully customizable and that's what's pretty cool you can always set the wiggle pulse when something is uh, trying to notify you it'll show a blue icon up here indicating that you have to uh, check it so back to Ubuntu Software Center when you maximize it does this interface now my da my launcher is still here and you get to search for anything you want it's basically the same they have synaptic package manager when you press start menu synaptic everything's basically same they have a new interface that's about it that's Ubuntu um, it's eye candy you can show it to your friends and they'll like it because it now looks nicer and they'll probably like it as well uh, yeah you can get Google Chrome and a bunch of other features they made everything obvious and user friendly with this yeah I kinda I, li I like it a lot at first I didn't but I had my ups and downs and doubts well through the whole time I liked it and when I first tried it I started hating it but now I like it again so I'm quite biased about that so this is Ubuntu 11.04 explore the features of it try it out yourself and love it if you do not like it don't worry you can always switch back to the Ubuntu Classic enjoy get Ubuntu and look subscribe to more upcoming tutorials on Ubuntu and Windows goodbye